Hey gang, today I'm going to teach you guys an easy braised fish recipe that's just going to knock your socks off. And if you're like me and anticipating catching more fish this fall and winter, it's time to start clearing out the freezer and the refrigerator. So if you've got some fat fillets in there, bring them out and I'm going to show you this insane recipe. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, home of the easy fish recipes, and today it's going to be an easy one pan braised fish recipe. Here we go. California spiny lobsters. I'll take that one. Oh my. I'm going to fillet this yellowtail in my suit and tie. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the steam coming off. Homemade smoked tuna belly dip. Oh my god. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fried crispy tuna tacos. Alright, it's basting time. Oh man, look at that. All right, gang, so I've got some fat Wahoo fillets that I took out last night and they're in the refrigerator. I'll get those in just a minute. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two tomatoes and we're gonna dice them up finely and we're gonna create a tomato salsa. And by the way, I am creating a braised fish dish just like they would in the Mediterranean. It's gonna be simple and easy with easy Mediterranean flavors like olive oil, garlic, and tomatoes. I mean, how easy is that? So let's get going. Wow, look at that. I'm telling you fellas, a sharp knife is what you need in life. Okay, we're going after a small dice here. Perfect. There are the tomatoes. It's time to smash up a couple of hefty garlic cloves. Smash it, take the skin off. Smash it, take the skin off. There we go. So you've seen me do this before, but I am gonna turn this garlic into a paste by using some kosher salt. So check this out. Here we go. Nice pinch of salt. The back side of a nice big chef's knife. Just smash and turn this garlic into a paste. The reason I'm turning the garlic into a paste is because it will be able to infuse its flavors into this tomato salsa just like that. That's the beauty. And plus, I'm not going to have to add any more salt, right? So that's the beauty of doing this. Okay, here's the garlic. So we've got salt in there because we use salt to mash the garlic. And now for some cracked black pepper. There we go. And believe it or not, here is a teaspoon of honey. There we go. And a surprise guest appearance from this bottle of chilled white wine. This is an Italian Pinot Grigio, which is a very nice, dry, and mildly fruity wine. And this is actually gonna make this salsa. So I need about a cup of this white wine right into the salsa. Check this out. So about one cup of white wine, perfect. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna put in here besides that white wine is two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm gonna set this aside. I'm not gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna set this aside and go grab the fillets and turn on the heat on the frying pan. And believe it or not, we are almost halfway done. So check this out. Uh. All right, gang, so I grabbed some Wahoo fillets out of the freezer last night and I put them in the refrigerator to thaw out safely. And I always wrap my fillets with some paper towels to wick all the excess moisture that surrounds the fillets and blood. And the reason is to slow down any bacterial growth, which will accelerate the decomposition of your fish and it won't last as long. So that's why I always wrap my fillets with a paper towel. And by the way, if you want to learn more about bacteria and parasites and safe food preparation or safe fish preparation in your kitchen, right over here I've got a link to a great video that I did. I'm sure you'll pick up some great tips and tricks. But right now, let's go over to the frying station and get going with this. There we go. Nice high heat. 
probably about one or two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. By the way, gang, if you want the full recipe, just go to my website, fishermansbelly.com, and there you'll find the full recipe in the Mediterranean section or in the Wahoo fish section. So here's my fillets. All I'm gonna do is add some salt, season them up pretty well on both sides, all right? Check to see if my olive oil is smoking. As soon as my olive oil starts to smoke, these things are going right in the pan. Okay, I can start to see a little smoke coming off the oil. It's ready. All right, here we go. One. And two. All right, gang, so I've got these fillets on a high heat right now, and this is gonna go on for about a minute or two. What I really want is a nice, golden brown crust to develop and as soon as that happens I'm going to flip these fillets over and then, or, and then I'm going to put the tomato salsa on top of that. So just check this out and by the way as soon as I flip them then I will lower that heat. Alright gang it's been about two minutes. Oh my god that's what we're looking for right there look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I gotta turn down the heat to a low to medium low flame. Remember the tomato sauce that we made with the wine? Here we go. gang so this is braising in here we put this tomato salsa remember lots of wine lots of juices we smothered the fillets the juices ran into the frying pan and turned into steam we put the lid on the frying pan this is classic braising the fish is cooking in a liquid steam encased environment and that way this thick the thick fillets will get cooked all the way through. They're steaming and they're frying at the same time. And that's what braising is all about. This is a foolproof way of turning out super tender fish. All we have to do is just keep this lid on for about five or six minutes and then we are done, believe it or not. So just hold on. All right, gang, it's been six minutes and it's time to take the lid off. There it is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. The only thing left to do is to garnish with a little bit of parsley. Oh my goodness. It's just so heavenly. I can smell the wine, the olive oil. You can see the fish is just completely cooked. And this is just drop dead gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't wait to start eating this. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, home of the easy fish recipes. And I am telling you, this has gotta be one of the easiest fish recipes but I guarantee you this is tasty and yummy and whoever you serve this to will ask you one simple question. When are you going fishing again? Thanks for spending time with me today. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly and we will see you on the next one.